Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. We are on I-40 East, almost in the Kingman, and get off here at Exit 44. This is the old uh, U.S. Highway Historic 66, and we're on a little mission. We're going to do a little camping. We're going to take the van. I'll give it about three different scenarios, maybe four for the next uh, three, four days. The heat is just unbearable down here in the lower valleys and desert. So I thought, why not? Let's go up to that Wallapai uh, Mountain Park first. That direction right there, that takes you over to the Oatman Highway. And Oatman, but we're gonna head up the mountain. I just filmed up here uh, a while back, a few weeks ago beautiful place. They had that uh, RV park, that Elk RV. So I reserved a site up there for tonight. We're going to go check it out. Cameras are heating up. Look how pretty. I love this little area right here. Cameras are heating up in the dash, so I'm going to be minimal on the dash. But I, I just filmed this recently. I'm going to post a link for the other video as well, too, so you can see the whole trip up this mountain. All right, here we are. Made it to Kingman. Stocked up. I got enough food for about three, four days. Now we're only going to spend one night up here in the mountain. Hopefully it is cooler. I mean, this whole next several days, they're talking record breaking heat. Figures of all the times I want to test out the van. <laughs> oh well. Alright. This is what they consider Old Town, Kingman. This was the original Highway 66, all the old motels, the old buildings, restaurants. Pretty cool, really. I'd still like to stop at some of these museums, but they're still not open yet. I think they will soon, though. are. We're going to make a right up here. This is uh, Wallapai Mountain Road. It's about 12 miles up to the campground. Alright, cameras are really heating up. The sun beats through the windshield on these GoPros and they really get hot in a hurry and they will shut down. So I can go up a little ways. I'll just click it on and off till we get up to the top of the mountain. All right, you can see the mountains in range. Mm -hmm. Looks a little different. Remember last time it was a lot greener. The landscaping, everything's drying out, lack of rain. But hopefully it is still cooler up here. It should be. When I checked it yesterday, it uh, should be at least 15 degrees uh, cooler on top of the mountain up here. Looking forward to it. Now we're 
are climbing. Got one little cloud up there, look. Might catch a few stars tonight, I don't know. Okay, we should be almost up to the ranger station. Let me get parked. I'll go get checked in, figure out what spot they want me in, and I'll be back. All right, they gave me spot 24. It's an end spot. Can go up this little elk RV park. Right up in that little flat knoll here. I'm getting hookups. I'm plugging in tonight. I want to test the uh, air conditioner, and I have to have uh, shore power for that. But it's at least, it is so much cooler here. My goodness. Very, very nice. So up we go. We'll find this Site 24. rigs up here they got the same idea they're staying cooler to be in an RV and that uh, when it gets over 100 degrees I don't care what kind of RV you have how many air conditioners it just gets hot you guys got his fifth wheel there set up pretty good And look at that view. Wow, look at that. I'm not going to explore the park. I did that last time. Once again, this is about the van. So 24 should be down here at the end. Looks like a little pavilion, picnic table there. You guys got a buggy. Alrighty, here it is, 24. Nice. Alright, let me get parked and set up. Alright, sun's going down. It's getting on in the afternoon. Got my box fan going. Excuse the mess. Maid's day off. Okay, fridge is on, everything's pretty much powered up, there's my recliner, or VR TV cup, we're good, there's the air conditioner, just fired up the laptop, right there, got the flat screen hooked up, looking good, huh? I still haven't utilized the wall space yet, but I really can't afford cabinets. Inverter's on here, that, so I'm getting 110 power off the inverter, even though I'm plugged in. There's two separate circuits, a 15 amp and a 20 amp. Okay, now I'll show you these curtains. These are from Walmart. They're what they call blackout curtains. I put snaps on them. And there's Velcro, old Kurt, from my wind stuff, custom, uh, so, he uh, had a sewing machine, he sewed them up for me. There's the window coverings for up in the cab. Because that will get hot, they'll go right up there.
I can feel heat coming through there too. There's extra cameras. That's the big camera there. I want to start testing out some of that gear too. And of course the drone down there. Which I'm not going to fly the drone up here. Once again this is more about the van than the park. But these curtains they block out quite a bit of heat and light. Good privacy at night. Then have these snaps on the side. Snaps there. And then we even made a set for over the slider. Now check this out. See I got the snaps up top. And we cut out the little section here for the window. That crank out window. Isn't that cool? That was Kurt's idea with Velcro. Then at night you can just pull it down for privacy. Also, I'm going to exhaust the air conditioner through that little window there. That Velcro right there holds it up well. Very happy with him. Alright, we're up and running. Batteries are underneath the bed there in that cabinet, in case you didn't see the other videos. But I'm plugged into shore power and I got the solar, so I got tons of power going. That flat screen's working out well. I like the recliner. And I got the fantastic fans. Kick it on. Normally I have one drawn in the air and the other one exhausting. And that really moves some air through here. That helps quite a bit. And the propane stove. I'm not sold on that thing. It's a glass one. It rattles. I can't leave the burners on it. So I have to assemble it if I want to use it. The propane tank's underneath the cupboard. It's got an 11 pound pro propane tank. But overall, it's usable. See all the wall space up there? The, the cupboards. That'll have to wait. Alright, well here we are. This is the Wallapai Mountain Park. Their RV park. I'm plugged in, hooked up. Gonna play around the laptop a little bit. Maybe try to edit some of this video. Probably won't get much of that done. Sure is pretty much cooler here. So much cooler. Yay! <laughs> I just met them people in that motorhome. Nice folks from Vegas. Alrighty, well, also I need to, I better, I forgot, I need to run that exhaust hose out that window. I want to try that idea. I think it'll work good. Doesn't the van look good? It's first big night out. <laughs> Alright, let me rig up that exhaust. I'll be back. Alright, look at the cord there, shore power is going. I'm actually plugged into a 50 amp service and reduce it down. Look at my step, my weather tech step, yay! Now this is what I was thinking about right now. This is how I'm exhausting the AC. You'll see more later. But it works out good. I was going to drill a big hole in the floor, but I really didn't want to do that. So, here we are. 
first good test tonight, run that AC. I don't need it a lot. It's kind of warm right now, but it'll cool off, I'm sure, this evening. Then tomorrow morning, we're out of here. We're heading uh, to Meadville. Meadview. All right. I'll update the progress next video. Talk soon.